Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. In the last episode, we managed to get back to Corinnes, finally. And in our way were these black, red-robed men called the Seekers. Which, basically, what Zardus told us about, are the face of the enemy, or one of them. So, they're after us, and they will try to stop at nothing to kill us. So in order to stop these men from, well, killing us, we need to make sure that Lord Hagen gets the news about the mining colony. And in order to do this, we're just going to go back to him. We should not be stopped at all. And I believe that we're actually pretty close to leveling up, so... If we're lucky, we might be able to train our strength even more, and maybe get a new sword. So... I bring you news from Garand. Here, he gave me this message for you. Our situation is worse than I had feared, but report to me on the situation in the Valley of Mines. The paladins are holed up in the castle in the Valley of Mines, you could surrounded say that. by orcs. There were many casualties in the prospecting operations, and there's barely any ore left. Well, I should say that without any help, the lads are lost. That's how it looks. I shall find a way to rescue this expedition. Like how? You have Kill the orcs all us. in front of the fortress. Well, thank you. Maybe. I'm not all that interested in his gratitude. I want his eye. Yes, of course. I stand by my word. Take this letter. It will open the monastery gates thank to you. Thank you. Speak with Pyrocar the highest fire magician, and show him this authorization. He will grant you access to the Eye of Enos. One more thing before you go. Yes. Take this rune as a token of my gratitude. Ah, teleportation rune. To whenever Wonderful. you want. Thank you, Lord Hagen. Now, can I do this? I want to take up service with the Order. To be a warrior... Yeah, only. it means I can't if just do that. All right. So, maybe I'll be able to do that later. But it's a good start. So, now, we have this new rune here. Which would be that one. Teleport to the Harbor City. So, we're gonna go and put that on 4. The Pass on Corinne is on 5. And the Teleport to Zard is on 7. Mind you, by the way, that I skipped on the ring that I could have gotten when I talked to Lester before entering the Valley of the Mines. I've gotten back to the Tower of Zardis and could have talked to Lester while he was lying down in the uh, in the bed, but I didn't do it. So I kind of didn't make that ring for me, but it's not a ring that I really want to wear, so I didn't bother with it. Hey, you! But it's a possibility, so... Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Can you? If I have, because I want to get some more lock picks. Thank you. No. Seventy. Yeah. What weapon is the next one that we can use at this point? D we could use the axe, or if we are to be able to talk hey. to you. Oh no, he doesn't t tell us. Maybe there's another person who will tell us about smithing. That might be Bennett in the mercenaries camp. Maybe. I'm not sure if he can, but we'll see what we can do there. So, let's have a look. We're gonna go to the monastery of the monks directly. So, or mages rather, fire mages, because we don't really have a lot to do there. So oh, actually, wait, we have something to do here before we go there. Because Jack's lighthouse is still being guarded by some bandits. So, how about we deal with those first, and then go back to Jack, because this time around, we have... Hello, Seekers. Um, I'm gonna try and kill him with a crossbow. I think I'm gonna die pretty horribly, but we're gonna try anyway. Just gonna go up here. Go a little bit to the edge. And then, boom! 
Oh my god, I didn't even do any damage whatsoever. Wahaha! The, the actual question that I have is, does he actually have, like, mana? Infinite mana? Because... Well, one thing I could tell you is that he keeps on missing, which is not a bad thing to have happen. We'll be meeting some more Seekers along the way, eventually, so... The more I take out, the better it is for me. But there are at least like 15 to 20 Seekers all around the world right now, so... We'll be having a hard time evading all of those at this point. But we should be okay. As long as we're not messing up too badly. Alright. Now, let's see if we can kill those bandits this time around. Because we're pretty much equipped to do that, or should be anyway. Let's go right here once more. So, they have to come here with their weapons drawn. Oh, no! Oh, what the? He barked through the... the wall. Oh! Ow! Ow! That hurts. Very much so. You deserve that oh, what? Life. That was mean. Like, he barked through the wall and the other one pulled his sword as well. That was really mean. Guess I'll be doing it the old-fashioned way. Shooting at people. Not sure how much of a hit chance we have, but you're in for it now. Maybe we can take out one of them. Well, the angle is fine. Still waiting for me to go around the corner. So if I can kill that one, we one step into the right direction, and I think if the next shot hits. And he doesn't move to the left hand side. I'll be able to do that. Yeah! That's how you do it. I think, my friend, I'm able to hit you. Uh oh. Yes! Okay, now back up, back up, back up. It's just one more dude. We're gonna run away for a second. <laughs> so we can get some more health back. Just gonna make that happen. Kill two. There's only one more. And he doesn't chase us, so we should be good. So, what are we going to eat. We're actually not going to eat anything. We're going to zip two of these potions. Save the game, because that was one. Whoops, actually I noticed I kind of mislabeled my save games. Well then, let's do a triple, a uh, double 312. Should be okay. Just have to remember to do that on the next run. So, he's standing there once more. Now he's going to draw his pieces. bow, that's for sure. Normally I should have an edge here, since he's carrying a two-hander. As if I'm fast enough, I can probably do this pretty easily. Now if only I would hit another critical. Yeah! All right, Jack, your lighthouse is now safe. That means we have done another quest without actually dying. What I'd like to know is where the bodies are, because for some reason they disappeared. What? Why would the bodies disappear that quickly? They normally never do that. Oh, well. 
Anyway, we're gonna search his chest, because why not? Oh, some more lockpicks. Well, never say no to those. Also gonna check up the top of the lighthouse to make sure we do not overlook anything. Because, you know, exploration and all that. Oh, look, see? There's a scroll, a potion, and a leather satchel. And that's about it. And um, since we're here, let's enjoy the view. Well, what's left of it, because there's only like a few trees here. Don't really see that much in the distance. Right. I'm gonna rest inside here for a short period of time. And then we shall be going back to Jack. Okay, now, are the bodies back? Nope. Sometimes they reappear if you rest, but in this case it seems that's not gonna happen. I say, and call bullshit, but, okay, well, it's not that much of a big deal, I suppose. They don't have anything of value other than a few arrows here and there, and maybe a few pieces of gold. Which at this point, with 12,000 gold, we really don't need as much gold as we needed before. It's still an important resource, especially because we have to consider that we have to buy a paladin sword later on. Which will be, I believe, at least 3,000 gold or something along those lines. Even more, maybe. So, that will be quite costly. However, for the time being, it's not that important. So, we should be okay. Gotta do the work. In the meantime, I would actually like to look at Kantar's weapons. Since I'm already here. Oh, child's play! Yes, please! More money! Uh, what stuff do you have? Any 90 plus single handed combat weapon? I've got a suit you. You don't. Someone's got to do the work. How about you? Someone's got to do the work. Show me. Uh, an axe and a staff. No. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Hey, come. Show me. That's not what my husband thinks. Mm, double blinded axe, stone breaker. Well, they actually have absolutely That's nothing. That's You've got potions, I'm sure. Show Honestly, me. let's have a look at his potions as well. That's not this is an amulet and hitman bonus, a mana bonus. We don't really need that. Magic worse. defense. Hmm. Could be a that's what I've always Good said. idea. Oh, we can buy apple tobacco. Yes, please. We can mix that to get some more honey tobacco later. Something. Uh, I don't think that any... No, no, no. That's not what I Baltram is one of those merchants you normally never need anything for. Unfortunately. But that's the way it is. Right. We are going to jump down here to... Make it a little bit quickly huh? down there. Oh, look! I actually forgot to pick up a potion here. Well, that's fortunate. I'm not telling you anything new. Now, Cam Jack. I report your hey, lighthouse you. is safe. The bandits that were occupying your lighthouse are gone. Is that bad. really true? Yes, it is. Finally, I can get back to my work. You can. Come with me to the lighthouse. You get an incredible view of the sea up there. Yeah, I'll come to you later, once I've finished with the rest of the stuff. Now, hey, you. do we have any more information? No. Okay, so... That is for Vatra, so I guess I should do that as well. But we're gonna do that once we return. But I'll talk to Vatra anyway already, because I need to return to Zalus at one point anyway. And then I can do that on foot. 
So, just initiating the mission from Vat is probably a good idea at this point. Whoop! Now, the next part of the game are going to be a little bit more difficult, I would imagine, considering that the Seekers are going to be a little bit tougher than anything we've faced until this point. First of you, Lord's we're going to get told about that. What? Again? The good woman should take better care of herself. What? The, the Seekers curse her. She can do nothing about that. All right. I will give her a medicine to reduce the fever. Oh, and while you're at it, you might as well drop it off with her. Well, thank you. I'm gonna do that right when I can. Then Cavalon is getting his. I was at your hut back. in the Valley of Mines. So it's still standing. Yes, yes, it is. And I also know what you wanted there. Did you find it? If you and mean your pouch with the lumps of ore. Yes, I have it. You're a fox. Tide, you know that. What else could you have wanted in that old earth? shack? There isn't anything else. Do you Other have than gold. You? I'll give you 100 gold but coins it, for it. You don't even need to pay me, but you can have it. Yes. Terrific. And a deep sadness over Why did you leave adults? it there in the first place? That is a good I question. I had no idea that ore was so valuable here in Corinus. For one measly piece of ore, you couldn't get so much as a place to sleep back in the penal colony. In the harbor city, land, they'll practically bash your skull in so if they find out you have ore on you. Well, in all honesty, though, I hope that I'll get it. And the beast uh, waged war upon oh, the land well. of Give me 100 Adonis, gold coins, and, and I'll give you I thought I already had gave it back to you him. Go. I guess not. You're a real there friend. we go. Thanks a lot. And All right. Human slew the beast well, anyway, back in the colony, or of course, wasn't worth much because, well, it was just a kind of isolated economic system where only all was a resource that can be traded. It makes say. sense that the most important oh, and most, well, quantity-wise available resource would be the payment method. However, being available in that amount of quantity, of course, inflation and whatever you could buy with it is pretty high. So you can't buy stuff with it. Not by much, anyway. But on the other hand, if you follow the storyline of Gothic 1, and they set into introduction cinematic that Oh my... G oh, that's a seeker. Um, well, I suppose I'm going to tell the story later, <laughs> once we've f fought that one. Because I don't want to be interrupted. Alright, we're going to shoot you, though. Come on, hit it! Hit the seeker! Just gonna make sure that. Uh... Ah, come on. Come on! Ah, oh, so close. That little hit that I didn't get in. Now. Because I don't want to talk to him in the way of like, that we're getting uh, cursed, but you know what? We already have two more possibilities to talk to these guys, so why not? Now you show me. Ah, keep attacking. You, my keyboard, come on! Good down! Ugh. Much better. Alright, anyway. Story time. So, in Gothic 1, they were saying, like, well, the king pays everything to get the ore back. So, of course, ore was quite valuable in Corinis or the surrounding areas, because it was a the resource that the king needed to fight the war against the orcs. So that was very obvious that it's worth quite a bit. Though, admittedly, it seems that all the ore has been used f 
for whatever reason and why ever. Because right now, it's valuable so much that even a lump of oil, as Cavalon said, is worth quite a bit. So, whatever you do, ore is very important in this game, especially because there are only a few more lumps that you can pick up at this point. Let's have a look though about this area. There should be one more seeker around this corner here somewhere closer to the monastery. Somewhere. No? Well, there's a wolf there. Interesting. Well. Good night. There we go. gonna redraw that to be exactly sure there's nothing going on. Should be Iskaros still here. Yes. And then we should be able to go to the monastery without too much trouble. We have a letter to let us in, so that's definitely a positive thing. And here is Jorgen. Good day, Jorgen. Hey you. Hey you! Hey you too! Ever been to the monastery? No. Maybe. Why? <laughs> Are they still taking on people? I wouldn't know where else to turn. Go to the city? Where do you come from? Well, I used to be captain of a big whaler, my boy. The sea is my home. My ship, the good old Magdalena, was sunk by pirates a few months hmm, ago. And I now, couldn't maybe I'm know these pirates, but I'm not going to tell I you where they are. was to go back to sea. But since I've come here. Not one schooner is called at this accursed port. The only ship which is anchored in Corinus is that blasted Yeah, Lord with the paladins the on king. it. And they don't take on anyone. Nope. So what else can I do? There's no work for me in town. I've tried everything. You did, did you? You'd better get off the road. Hey, don't worry. I've already noticed that the wilderness out here has become damn dangerous in the last that couple of days. That is true. All right, we're gonna see what we can do for you, Jorgen, once we get to the monastery. And I believe we'll also meet a new friend, or rather an old friend, back at the entrance of the monastery. Good day, Milton. So... I need to get into the monastery. It's urgent. I can't let you into the monastery. Did I, I'll get in trouble. I have a counsel. letter. Without the permission of my superiors, I can't let anyone into the monastery. Well, I've got a letter from Lord Hagen. Show me. Wow, he doesn't trust us at all. Like, well, all right. show me the letter. Here's the key to the monastery. Pyrocar is in the church. All right then. How did you get to the monastery so fast? What kind of a question is that? I crept through the pass and made my way straight to and the monastery. And you got past the seekers without them easy noticing you, right? all the monsters, making mm -hmm. themselves at home on this side of the valley. That's right. But ultimately, I encountered fewer problems than I expected. You did. Well, good for you, because for me, there has you a whole lot more about problems. The hooded figures. No, but I have a bad feeling about those guys. Be careful if you wow, run into them. Wow, that sounds like something you would say in a bad movie. You know, I don't know anything about these guys. But, I get bad wives from them. Oh Do you know where God. the others are? Gorn seems to have coped with his stay in Garan's dungeon very well. That has probably returned to Lee. In any case, he wanted to, to go to Lee yeah. and see what was happening on the farm. We'll After the before. grub they serve in the dungeon, he's probably stuffing his face right now and putting the mercenary's provisions to a real test. Diego I can something think that he might do that, yes. No idea what he meant by that. But I suspect he's in the city. You know him. Yeah, he was in the city, all right. Had. Anyway, goodbye, Milton. So, have fun. Don't have to tell me that. We don't have a lot to do here, basically, because we are not a novice, so we can't do a lot. But we can talk to Parla here. I do not know why you were allowed to enter the monastery. I am Parla. Do you care why? For our novices. I do not want I'm you to keep out. them from their work with stupid questions. Is oh clear? please! Don't be such a upstart here. I couldn't get away with that. Sure. Sure. I certainly hope so. You really think? 
So, let's hope the sentence for this one is actually as good as in the German version. Let's see. Where can I find one like this forever? Uh, this. The church. Lord Almighty. Has in our stricken you, you blind? Where is the church? Oh my, where could yeah, it possibly be? Long, well, that's a little bit disappointing. In the German version, he says it more cynically than anything else. Because the church is, of course, right here. Which is obvious. So, before we go... Oh, what? He attacks me? That... What? Oh my. I think I should probably leave now. This could theft is a violation oh. of the rules. Oh, now I'm monastery. dead. Great, thank you. Transgressions must. You will pay fifty gold. Oh, uh, sure. I want to pay the penalty. I accept. Okay. Well, that was rather unfortunate. At least he didn't take all my gold. I was expecting that he wouldn't attack me, honestly, because that never happened before. Oh well. I still have my gold, right? It had to happen sooner or later. I do. Oh my. That would have been a really bad thing to have happened. Like, well, you're gonna go pay gold and you lose all your gold because Pyrocar is looting your body. Never happened to me at all. Wow. I'm surprised that he actually attacked me. What did you want in here, huh? I wanted to sleep, now shut up. Also, what is going on here with all the novice clones around there? Oh well, Pyrocar. Here we are. Eh. I've come Talk from to the you about that first. Mines. What do you have to report? The enemy has formed up there with an army of orcs and dragons. We have already learned that from Milton. But what about the king's shipment It's of ten crates. The mine they are digging for Garand in the valley cannot satisfy the demands of the king. The days are becoming grayer, and the light of the sun is ever weaker. Oh my god. I was attacked by men in black robes. Yep. I know. Those are the Seekers, henchmen from the nether realms of Beliar. Beware of them. They will try to take possession of you. Once possessed, you will no longer be yourself. Hmm. Only here in the monastery could you find... Of course you would only so sell it here in the monastery because... Here. Well, this rune you could give you me something for that, right? And you need I don't have to pay money Remember, for it, as always. We must offer resistance, <sighs> Church or we shall never all be doomed. Right. I have come to take the Eye of Inos. I see that you have received an authorization from Lord Hagen himself Indeed. to bear the Eye of Enos. I am afraid that I have to disappoint you. We have fallen victim to a treacherous plot. Ah, oh, what a surprise the and a coincidence. has been violently taken from these sacred walls. So? Who did this? Evil is cunning and usually works in secret. Only rarely do you see it emerge to pursue its evil Tell me the name. Wow. These days, You're talking all around matter. things and just the enemy give me a name. Openly in the street, in every home and every public square. This can only mean that he no longer fears any adversary and is not going to shrink back from anything. One of our most faithful followers, a candidate for the high robe of the Magicians of Fire, has changed his allegiance unexpectedly. And in you mean you didn't notice that he would be influenced by evil? Just the say it plainly. The taken possession of him, thus inflicting a terrible defeat upon us. Pedro has forced his way into our most sacred halls and stolen the eye. I fear that he simply spent too much time by himself, outside of the gates, and thus beyond the protective walls of the monastery, exposed to all lurking dangers. I wonder, though, what would you want with an eye if you already have two eyes? Well, where did the thief flee let's to? Let's tell me he where he goes. Down some of the other novices who tried to stop him had disappeared into the morning mist. Many novices have gone after him to bring the eye back to its place unharmed. If you want to catch up with him, you need to hurry before Pedro disappears out of your reach. Do I now? One more thing. Some of the roadside shrines dedicated to Enos have been desecrated by the enemy. They have lost their magical consecration. I see. And now? It is up to you. Now it's to purify making them to purify them, of course. The what else? 
does not escalate. Take this holy water and trickle it on the base of the shrine. Well, With thank the you. holy words of purification, the shrine will regain its old power. Here is a map for you. The shrines which we have set up are marked on it. Now, go and perform your tasks. Thank you. Now, we have a map of these shrines and we can purify them without further problems. And also, we would like to know where Pedro has gone so we can get the Eye of Venus. Also, I should probably equip my crossbow as I was thinking about hey, that. You. So, do you know where Pedro is? Do you think I'd be standing around here if I knew where the renegade was hiding? <laughs> Thank you for that you snide remark. So deeds. the answer is no. I hope we manage to get the eye back. You have to help us. Find him and bring back the Eye of Innos. Why, thank you, Milton. You were so helpful right there. I wonder how he got past him anyway. He's standing guard there for all eternity. Well, maybe Jorgen can tell me something. Good day, sir. Uh, well, I'm gonna stop with this one here. Have you seen a novice walk past? Yeah, sure. He went uh, that away. He jumped into the water off the bridge and swam like a shark was after him. All right. If you're headed for the monastery, you should talk to Milton. He'll surely be able to help you. What do you think? Would they let me in there at all? I don't Perhaps. know. But the way you look, I can hardly imagine you in a novice's robe. Enough of that nonsense. Novice's robe, indeed. It's the grub I'm after, or I'll be forced to eat the bark off the trees next. Hmm. Well, then. I guess you will find your way in time, brother. Now, we're gonna save him, because we're gonna jump down in the water and follow the trail of Pedro, the novice. However, that's going to be for next episode, so when we come back, folks, going into the water, getting wet, and swimming all the way across where the mist ends. So, I will see you all next time.